Then look down. Jump off this part. 24 meters. Oh. How's it going? Welcome to the Balkans. So yesterday we flew from Jordan, Amman, Jordan, all the way to Sofia. I spent the night in Sofia and then today we went to Belgrade, Serbia. And for the next 11 days we're going to be cruising down through the former Yugoslavia, now known as the Balkan countries of Europe, Eastern Europe. I'm excited to go on this journey. It's going to be fast paced, almost one country per day. It's basically just going to be the highlights of each city. So hope you enjoy it. Let's do it. Star made it to the famous bridge and I'm contemplating jumping off of it. It'll be the highest thing I've ever jumped off, so I think it's like 24 meters. But shout out to Conrad for Instagram. He's done it before and I just have to do it because he's done it already. So I don't think I have a choice. There's a dive shop up at the top here where you can kind of register your name, pay the fee, and they'll walk you through a little training course where you jump off a 10 meter or an 8 meter platform to make sure your form's good, then they take you up. So, no more contemplation, I think it's time. Yesterday I had heart palpitations when they mentioned, oh, we're gonna to start tomorrow. I'm like, oh, I gotta jump off the bridge. But I'm excited, let's go do this. Here we go. I just signed up to go jump off the bridge. <laughs> a little nervous. Well, 20 minutes ago, we were contemplating doing this jump, but now Mark's about to do it. It's the highest I've ever jumped. It's definitely the highest I've ever jumped. All right, we're at the practice station right now, the 10 meter platform. It is so cold in the water. I like, took my breath away. 10 degrees. I, I had to like get out so fast. But yeah. one more practice jump and we're going up. Seconds of free fall. I am number 3028. Apparently, 80% of these people here that have jumped have been Australian. There you go, you're in the fall. Boom. Boom. I'm in. Here's motivation for doing this. Shout out Conrad Mikalski, his brother in law. What? Now, the number is 3028. In one year, it's like 300 people have gone. Get your name in the book. When you get your name in the book, Sign it and let me know. And there we are, the most our memory. This place is a beautiful little town. Gotta visit this place. And definitely a highlight of this trip, that's for sure. So we're finishing off our most our experience with some, I guess local food, but not really, but some delicious pizza, it's kind of Italian. Mm. But it's good. Most are over.
we have made it to Dubrovnik, Croatia, and we are spending the day roaming through the old city and then getting on a boat as well for the afternoon. All right, so there's a spot where you walk through the wall and it takes you outside the old city. And there's some seriously epic cliff jumps there. You should go to a place called Buza Bar and you'll find it there. All right, we made it to the Buza Bar. Into the hole. Oh yeah. This has gotta be it. Nice water, so refreshing. That was epic. You gotta check this out. Booza bar. What's happening, boy? What are we doing? Oh, good. What are we doing? We don't know what we are doing. We don't know yet. Okay. We will improvise. We'll improvise. Okay, we're going on a boat, I think. Here we go. Let's do it. We have arrived to the town of Kotor, Montenegro. This place is surrounded by an old fortress overlooking the old city. It is incredibly beautiful. made it to the UNESCO protected town of Ohrid, Macedonia and apparently this town has 365 churches which I am not going to see them all because they're all really really small and look like homes. It's a super cool town. Let's check it out. We're in the region of Kalambaka, Greece, and today we're exploring Meteora, and it is a series of monasteries way up in the mountains, which they started building in the 11th century. There used to be 30 monasteries, now there's six active ones, and there's built right on top of these mountains. Absolutely wild. This could be the view of the trip. Meteora, Greece. I'll let this video do the talking. So we are 
and Delphi, home of the Greek mythology and center of the universe. We've arrived to Pinika Hill. And this is our last stop, the very last stop on the whole trip to Balkans. This trip is over and what a way to end it. Sunset over Pinika Mountain, look overlooking Greece. Super beautiful view. Acropolis is in the background. What a trip it's been. Thanks Travel Talk for taking us here on this 12-day trip, eight countries. Links in the description if you want to check it out. And that's it.